parliamentary committee investigating a leaked audio tape about a plot to oust the IGP has uncovered a new recording. Now, this follows claims by witnesses COP George Mensa and Superintendent George Asari that portions of the original tape and evidence has been doctored. Now, Chairman of the committee, Samuel Atachia, revealed this to the media after Monday's proceedings. This report brings us more. The ad hoc parliamentary committee probing an audio recording of some individuals allegedly plotting the removal of IGP Akufu Dampari continued its public sitting on Monday, September 5. Superintendent Joya Sari, whose interrogation had been postponed on two occasions, finally faced the committee on Monday. Superintendent Asari's appearance before the committee came about following revelations by Prime Witness Bugri Nabu indicating that Superintendent Asari was one of the other two individuals on the tape. When Superintendent Joy Asari was quizzed, he confirmed his voice on the tape. Let me find out from you, do you admit that your voice is on the tape? Yes, Mr. Chair, but there is some cut and paste on the audio, but that notwithstanding, the voice in it is mine. He, however, denied introducing Superintendent Emmanuel Jebi to Bugri Nabu, as the former NPP Northern Regional Chairman had claimed. It's to me that uh, Chief Bugri Nabu is saying that you introduce uh, Superintend Superintendent uh, Jebi for purposes of going to see the president on the matter. What is your response to that? On our chair, that's not true. That's not true. Because um, I'm the type that I know how to present my issues, assuming without admitting that that was true. Assuming without admitting that that was true. I will be eager enough to go and meet the president myself. On the set tape, Superintendent George Asari is head suggesting that a certain area mama had told him that the executive secretary to the president, Nana Asante Bediatu, was the cause of problems. But when Superintendent Asari was pressed, he replied that he was peddling a rumor to Bugri Nabu. With your indulgence, it was a rumor I picked and I spoke to Alaji about it. You are very confident to peddle rumors. Oh. Honorable mm. Chair. Yes. This was a private conversation. It doesn't matter. You see, I've never met you that we've had a private conversation, but I feel very offended that at your level of experience and intelligence, you'll be peddling rumors to me. We should be above rumors. We do with substance and truth. That's what you should be doing because um, the state depends on you so we can go to bed. Imagine your intelligence on the way we should run the system is on rumors. It's fatal to our security, you don't know. Some parts of Monday's hearing bordered on spiritism. The committee was interested in how Superintendent Asari agreed with Bugri Nabu to seek spiritual help as they plotted getting COP George Asari appointed as IGP. Chief Bugri Nabu made an emphatic statement that this thing, I just want to quote him verbatim, but it will be difficult. It will, but, uh, 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 what all that he was trying to say was that this thing you have to fight it both physically and spiritually and then he gave us examples but those examples people that he helped them fight for the position spiritually it was a private conversation. I don't want to make it public here. Master knows he is a Christian. 
And he was well aware that he would resort to his Christian prayers. But in addition to that, Chief Bogri Nabu wanted him to as well, as well, uh, allow him to consult uh, some uh, uh, malams for him. Some malams for him. And that was why I said, Alaji, this one here, it is your job, so no problem. You can, you, you, you can do it, if you can help. Like COP Mensa, Superintendent George Asari also alleged at the committee sitting that the IGP taped their conversation and also accused the IGP of some procurement dealings with Bugri Nabu. Tell me tell that that the IGP agreed with Bugri Nabu after Bugri Nabu had gone to inform the IGP that somebody wants your post, so he has come to me, to the extent that the CV that was collected from commissioner and sent to Bugri Nabu by those boys, two, they are two. They are prepared to come here and testify. They are two. They collected it, sent it to Bugri Nabu. Bugri Nabu gave the CV, the CV that was intended for the appointing authority, he gave it to the IGP. Great chairman. Uh, uh, I want that. I, I would. I would. I would. I would be happy that I say more when I'm. In, I'm in, in camera because it is not a healthy development at all. I have. I have a large book in our own tape. Everything he came to say here. On video, in his office, the same office, his relationship with IGP and contracts, 40, 44, 40,000 boots contracts. My brother. At the end of proceedings, chairman of the committee, Samuel Atachian, revealed the committee had uncovered a new tape. We've had the benefit of a tape on the assumption that it's authentic. The members of the committee will have to internalize that tape and it is also transcribed and look at it. And that will give us the ideas as to what to do. First of all, do we bring all the I mean, stakeholders together with their lawyers for cross-examination and uh, cross-firing to take place? Whilst we listen attentively and later have, when they finish, then we'll have our turn. And then are there matters which should not come into the public domain because of national security implications? Inside this new audio recording, we're told that they've also received some petitions. Uh, members will now take some time, reflect on the work they've done so far, and take into consideration this new evidence and decide on the next steps. My name is Charles Osukumi. I've been reporting from Parliament for City News.